Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working on a 2004 Audi A4. This is the Ultra Sport mo model. Uh, has a V6 motor with I mean, six speed transmission. Uh, what I'm going to be doing to this car today be replacing the body control module, which is located under, under here. So we're going to be removing this, this, and this is the part that I'm going to be replacing. It's the body control module, not to be mistaken with the comfort control module, which is under here. So we're not going to be replacing that part. Uh, so people get confused the comfort control module it's under here and the body control module it's under here so that's what we're going to be doing right now so, so the problem with this car uh, it doesn't matter whenever i put the key in the ignition the lights are always on the lights are always on regardless of position of the switch you see there I, I could turn it off and nothing happens switch it to the right then after I switch it to this all the ones all of these work the side markers the headlight but uh, when it's off it's never off it's always on another symptom is my wipers don't work sorry yeah I can move the wipers nothing doesn't work at all also my mirror it's not dimming so i have three different things that are not working because this part is not good so we're going to be replacing it this is at 2004 so make sure you get the correct part number which is this and all the numbers here for most of the cars are the same but what changes is the last letter right here so i have an f so when i bought this this part i made sure the mark car car had the the same uh numbers with the f at the end uh, for some cases people say they have to recode it but hopefully for mine i don't have to do that since it's the same year model and has the same letter at the end so uh gonna be taking this off so just get this out this is the cover for the fuses you're gonna have a millimeter bolt right here which you have three so there's one there so like this one there one sorry one down here yeah just there and then another one it's gonna be hold on so another one is gonna be right right there in the corner. Let's see if I can point it out. Right there in the corner. So it's gonna be three three eight millimeter bolts. And this thing just comes off. This whole thing so it comes off like that. this um, your OVD port will be connected to here like that all you do is just squeeze the side and this comes off also you're gonna have a light right here I'll show you already remove it for easier access just put this to the side so it's gonna be that light is gonna be there so it's pretty easy just squeeze it and it comes out so the part we're looking to replace is gonna be right there. So it's that part. So we're gonna have to get to that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so we have one 10 millimeter nut right there. And there's another one on that other side. I already replaced that. I mean, I, I removed it from there. But to get to that one, you're gonna have to loosen up I me mean, or or remove this two uh, bolts right here they're eight millimeters so it's one there one there 
this thing moves out of the way and then you gain access. It's already loose. It's a 10 millimeter. Like that. And then of course we move that other one there. And this thing comes out like that. It just comes out like that. And what we have to do is remove this connection back here. So for this one, you just pull up like this, and as you pull it, as you pull, let's see. Yeah, as you pull it like that, you push it, pull it to the left, this whole thing comes off like this. Let's get that out of the way. This one, you squeeze both sides. Sorry, it's a little hard to do it with, with one hand. And I forgot my tripod. So, put you down for a second. All right, let me put it down and I'm gonna remove that. So here you see, I remove these connections. From, from there, that one goes here, this one goes here, and that one goes there. So now, I'm gonna have to remove this three, I'll, I'll say they're fuses because they look like fuses, but not 100% sure. So you're gonna have to remove it from, from this part because they stay with the car. So the easiest way to do it it has a little tab. I don't know if you can see it like right on the middle. You just have to squeeze that and then this whole thing, you just pull it towards you. Like you're gonna do that for, for the three, for these three plugs. I'll show you in a minute. So what you have to do here is just put the screwdriver, little screwdriver, like right down the middle. Press on the little tab and just Pull it this way and the whole thing comes out like that so as you can see it just slides on those tabs and that's how you get it off now we're gonna install the new one so the new part is installed it has the same part number this is the old one right here same part number with the f at the end and let's give it a try let's see if it works Oh, right away, my wipers work. Okay. Didn't have to recode the new module, so that's a plus. My lights are off. All right. Okay, wipers work. My lights are off. They're off over here. Let's see if I turn them on. All right, that's on auto. Okay, because it's dark outside. So the auto headlights come on. All the other switches work. Okay, that works. Another thing I see that works. It's, uh, yeah, my auto dimming uh, rear view mirror works. So that's another thing that works. So I think that's a success. This, this thing worked. That's all, all they needed, I think so. But the most important thing that I needed was the wipers because I drove one time and the wipers didn't work. So yeah, that fixed it. So body control module controls wipers, lights, um, mirrors, and I guess replacing that part worked. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about it, Hit the comment section below and I will see you on the next one.